For those of you who are uh, getting experienced in age but want to continue to have a big turn and still keep hitting the ball longer and farther and keep some of that distance up so you don't keep losing it incrementally each year. So today we're going to talk about a couple of things. First off, we're just going to give you a simple warm-up courtesy of my friend uh, Jason Mish at Peak Golf Fitness in Rockville, Maryland. Please check him out uh, for info on golf fitness. He's one of the best in the business. A quick little three-minute warm-up that you should be doing before you ever hit a golf ball anytime you go to the range or play golf. You would actually be more uh, better served to do this exercise if you only have a limited amount of time to warm up. And then I'll give you the keys as well to continuing to have a big turn and keep that club moving. So first off, let's just go through the warm-up real quick. It should only take a few minutes, but you're more than welcome also to use a driver for balance. So we'll do that. So we'll do leg swings first, just front to back. And we're gonna go front to back, you know, maybe 10 of those. And then we're gonna stand the club to the side and we're gonna do sort of end out diagonal leg swings across. Okay, it's getting your lower half ready, getting your legs and hips loosened up. And then we'll switch sides here and then here, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to do some swing overs with your legs. So imagine if I've got my bag right here and I've got to go over it. Again, you can use the club for balance or you can ditch it. It's totally up to you. Up and over, up and over. Okay? And we'll switch here, here, 10 and 10. And then we're going to do some arm swings, some helicopters here, full turns, full pivot. See my foot? Turn, turn turn and then we're going to start to tilt into your posture golf posture and then we're going to go arms no hips fast get those arms moving and you're done so you work through that it should take you about three minutes and here's what you should feel a little sweat on the brow i will be really loosened up and if you go to hit a ball you'll probably be able to go close to full speed right away so Make sure you're pre preparing your body uh, to get the most out of it in terms of turn and speed that you can get. Especially as we get older, muscle tone is decreasing, flexibility is usually decreasing. We gotta fight that as much as possible. So proper warm up, even if you're not playing, do that warm up every day. Get your body going, okay? So now let's talk about with the golf club, what we're gonna do to keep you seniors getting that big turn in the body moving. So just for visuals too. Remember that, you know, we don't want the club to move up with very little hip and shoulder turn. One of the myths that I have to get rid of that some of you have heard is, well, I want to restrict my lower half and turn as big as I can on the top half. Now, do the best players in the world turn their shoulders more than their hips? Absolutely. Are they actively restricting their hips? Most likely, no. Uh, I would say there's very few that are doing that. Maybe they'll do that as a feel for something specific to them, but you have got to get the body turning as much as possible. Forget about the word restriction. You do not need that, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna practice at home, just putting a club across your shoulders here and turning as much as you can in your posture. Hips don't buckle. You can put one across your hips first, let them turn. And if you need to narrow your stance, we'll talk about that in a second, fine do it okay so we are not trying to turn and restrict this half let everything go now here's some ways to help you do that and you can do this with all your clubs but I do have the big club in my hand so we know we like to hit this guy so when you set up to the golf ball point one for turn give me some spine tilt away from the target okay point number two look at your feet you'll notice my right foot is behind my left that helps your hips turn more. The more my feet are this way, I'm exaggerating, I wouldn't be able to turn very much. But now, I drop that right foot back, boy, I've got some freedom there, totally fine. Point three, look at my toe. Please stop setting up like you're skiing. We're playing a pivot game. We've gotta be able to pivot and move. Get your feet in a position to do that, especially if you've had knee issues or ankle issues. Flaring the toes gives you mobility and freedom of movement. Range of movement is really important here. So foot back, toe flared, spine tilted. Great. Now 
again, we want you to feel like you are going to let, and I, this is a term I use with a lot of my students, the hips and handle. Hips and handle work away together and turn. And if you feel like you're moving a little off the ball, fine. Let's keep in mind here what we're trying to do. We're trying to hit the ball longer. And if you miss a few more fairways, don't worry about it, okay? Because if we could hit it 15, 10, 15, 20 yards further, the rough won't matter too much to you. Cl that much closer to the green, I'll take you out of the rough and uh, I'll be okay, all right? So don't sweat the fairways, especially right now as you're trying to increase speed and turn. Be okay with maybe hitting it just a little bit wilder and you'll be fine. So make sure we are right foot back, toe flared, tilted here, and we're gonna get the body to feel like it's really turned. You'll see, I'm well behind the golf ball here, big time, okay? Now, just a word on club de delivery. Ideally, we want the club, if I go this way towards the house here, coming a little more from an inside path and up through the golf ball. The vast majority of you in the golfing population take it this way, right? Out, across, slice, over the top, you can characterize it any way you want to, but that is a distance sapper. And a lot of that happens with my students because they set up very neutral this way, their right foot's up here, and they can't turn. So the easiest path is to the ball this way. So set yourself up for a better attack into the golf ball. It's not just about us increasing the turn just to measure it. We want it to have results and function when we hit the ball. So we're gonna be able to now take the club around us more and work from inside so we can deliver an upward blow, maybe even hit a little high hook out there. And you might get a high drawing shot that once it hits the ground, pew, chases, okay? So, let's review. Tee that thing high and forward, by the way, okay? Don't be afraid of that, okay? Right foot back, toe flared, tilted, and we're gonna make big turn, okay? And let it rip. Keep the body pivoting and go, okay? And work on balance. I think if you warm your body up correctly, you prime it, if you will, to make its best effort, you set up for success, and you have an understanding of where I want the club to travel from, you're going to start to see better results. And a couple last points that I want you to take away from this. Center contact is super important. So while you can miss a few fairways, if we start to miss the face too much, we've got to work on that. So as I've said in my other videos many times, Dr. Scholl's foot powder, spray that on the face. Just make sure you're hitting it in the middle, middle of the club face as you do this, okay? So we'll, we'll try one here and see. So teed forward, flared, back, tilt, turn hips and handle, not just lifting the arms, hips and handle. Okay, there you go. It's slightly low on the face, but right in the middle, okay? Not too bad. So. That's what we're looking for. Last piece for all of you, club fitting. Let's accept the fact right now, at this current moment, you don't swing as fast as you did 10, 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. It's cool. We can build that number back up, but right now in your current state, please make sure that you're playing a club that fits you. Have a certified fitter, somebody who's really good and knows what they, they are doing. Check you out, and it might mean higher loft, softer shaft, but it'll make your life easier and you'll get more out of what we're trying to do here. So prime the body, set up for success, let that thing turn as much as possible and make sure your golf clubs fit for you. If you can do all those things, I promise you as you age, you're gonna maintain that distance and then you can start even adding to it and get closer to the green, hit shorter shots in and make better scores. Thanks so much, hope it helped and we'll see you in the lesson tee.